A warm welcome to Amy and Fred's wedding. Amy, we're so proud of you. You're beautiful, talented, generous, a lovely young lady. And I'm proud to call you my daughter. Fred fitted straight into our family, whether it was getting in between Amy's younger brothers on holiday, when a game of noodles in a swimming pool got out of hand, <laughs> yeah. um, and, and we'd only just met him, to uh, helping us around the house, using his strength, doing manual jobs, and I can always picture him with a tumble dryer on his shoulder, carrying out the house on his own. <laughs> I don't believe the first date went that well, but something obviously clicked from the second onwards. And today's result have how life and love grows. And you can tell it in her eyes when she looks at Rodney. <laughs> to Fred and Amy. Thank you everyone for coming to uh, Amy's wedding day. Um, my main thanks has to go to Simon, Julia, Mum, Dad, Lawrence, because honestly, without them, we would not be here. Firstly, doesn't she look beautiful? Yeah, yeah go on. Yeah. Yeah. Right, I'm going to start this with a bit of a, not a positive, because obviously, Amy, at times you do drive me crazy. But you're caring, you're loyal, you make me laugh, you feed me, you're easy on the eye. And most importantly, without you, I wouldn't have Rodney. So I'd like everyone please to raise a toast <laughs> to Mrs. Nottingham. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. And now I'll hand you over to the best man, Jack Musco. So hello everyone, my name's Jack and I'm the best man. I'm going to keep this speech short. It could get a bit embarrassing for certain people, 
and there could be a few tears in the end. So that's exactly how I expect that the marriage consummation will go later. <laughs> <laughs> I'm going to start off with a few thank yous. Firstly, to Simon and Julie, oh, Julia. Uh, <laughs> Amy looks absolutely amazing tonight. You've done an amazing job of raising an absolutely fantastic daughter. Um, so my second thank you would go to Duncan and Joanne. Fred was your fourth attempt at raising a decent child. <laughs> and you still managed to fuck it up. <laughs> But without you, we wouldn't be here tonight. I want to say thank you to the bridesmaids. You all look amazing and you've done a great job in helping Amy get ready today. I want to say thank you to the ushers for, yeah, turning up. Thanks, guys. It's been great. And I want to say thank you to Fred for picking me to be your best man. It really is a privilege to be here, mate. When I first met Amy, she took me to one side and said, listen, Jack. Is that, does Fred have any flaws that I sort of I need to know about now? And I said to her, Amy, you've got absolutely nothing to worry about because Fred is a, just a genuinely stand-up bloke. He's intelligent, he's witty, and a genuinely, genuinely nice guy. And I think we could all agree that this wedding is the prime example of a lie that has gone way too far. <laughs> I think all that's left to do now is invite you all to join me in raising the glass as I propose a toast to the new Mr. and Mrs. Nottingham. Cheers. Please join me in welcoming the brand new Mr. and Mrs. Nottingham for their first dance. 